when the girl initiates the relationship. I've noticed I've that noticed too. it works more. If you want a feminine guy, listen to her advice. Many of you guys know that my advice is for women that want masculine men and that want polarized relationships. That want a man to lead, to protect, to provide. And like I've said many, many times, relationships only work out if the man loves the woman more than she loves him. Games will get you nowhere. By this, do I mean that the man loves her and she hates him? No. She can love him a trillion, but he needs to love her a trillion point one. A trillion point one. Semantics, that sounds very immature. Like, what even is that? A trillion point one. You only want to date guys that really, really, really want to date you. And that guy that really, really, really wants to date you is going to pursue you first. And that is the guy that you will control. Because, see, I know what you're talking about. you on that pretty privileged thing. And you're used to men chasing you all the time and begging you for attention. So now you're advising women that that's the way to go. If you get in a relationship with a guy like that, eventually you're going to resent him and he's going to re resent you because that's not your nature on either side. If you start off the relationship by leading, that is most likely what you're going to be doing the whole relationship. Leading as in what? Leading financially, being the major breadwinner, or leading um, emotionally, uh, you know, you appreciate more. You show more love, affection, and all that. What 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 do you mean by leading? This is misleading what you're telling women. Because, see, women will look at this video and say, leading, You, you they think you're talking about money. But if you're talking about money or you're talking about, you know, leading with affection and all those type of things, um, you're just really playing a game. Just be you. Guys can spot this. He's not going to look at you and say that's wife and material. He's going to say... You're playing games. I'm going to put you in this recreational use zone only, and that's going to be it. And if you think, oh, I'm going to chase after him, and when he gets to know me, he's going to give me the princess treatment. But remember that you can love a woman into loving a man, but you cannot love a man into loving a woman. So, Is it just me, or did that make no sense at all? It's just ridiculous. <laughs> I, I can't. you most likely never get that princess treatment you so desire. And the girl in the you will actually get the princess treatment you desire if you're worthy of that. That's just the bottom line. If you're worthy of that. If you're argumentative, you got an issue with everything, you're judgmental, you're playing games, you're just going by how you look and you think because you look good that you, you can act any kind of way, you're not going to get that. But it's about who you are, who you choose to be, your character. That's really what it's about. Because like I say all the time, there's nothing unique about beauty. There's nothing unique about uh, body parts or anything like that. When it comes down to it and a man's thinking about, do I want to marry this woman? Do I want to take this woman home to see my mom, meet my mom, my family, and all of that? They're looking at your character, who you are. If you don't have that, it doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter how much money you have, how old you are. None of that matters if you don't have that in order, if you don't have the hum humility in check, if you don't have the modesty in check. If you don't want to be that, then be single. But guys are not going to just accept anything, especially these days. It's not going to happen. We're not going to just accept women just because they're attractive. When they offer nothing but that just being attractive and everything outside of being attractive is something that a man doesn't look at and say I want a wife that that's just the bottom line don't play games keep it 100 nothing wrong with showing your affection and your appreciation for your man especially if he's the provider and he's giving you everything you need he's protecting you you have no worries or anything like that but when you start playing these games about oh he has to show me that he loves me more, you're gonna always lose, always. For all my girls in a relationship or even just anyone that knows that they will be in one eventually, I got a feminine energy tip for you. This one's huge. What you'll want to do is pull the energy away from your man and put it on yourself. In other words, start playing games. That's what that's code for. 
makes zero sense whatsoever. Take him off the pedestal, put yourself there. Find things that you love that interest you, things that you can do without him. In other words, become an independent woman inside of a marriage or a serious committed uh, you know, relationship. That's what that means. Be independent, be able to do whatever it is you wanna do. Things that fill your cup. Even just hanging out with friends or doing something that you like, like going to the gym, reading books, educating yourself is a huge one. Girls, we have so much access to information these days. It's literally insane how much we can learn for free. And that's why y'all got so many issues. Because all the information that you see out there is not the truth. And women tend to only want to believe the information they see that validates their point. Or their behavior but the thing is with men is they crave to chase us no we don't in the beginning maybe but not after we're married to you and we're in a committee relationship we'll, we'll chase for what we already caught you so why do you have to create a chase again that's just a game that women like to play because they're so stuck on their ego and they need so much validation and something crazy I also just learned that blew my mind is that men actually have this deep-rooted fear of losing their freedom. So Do we? And I wonder where you learned that from. Probably from another video like this of another woman saying this to you or saying it to women on TikTok. I want to see a video of you lining up 10 men and asking them that question. So when us girls like have nothing going on in our life other than just like being with them all the time, they're going to unconsciously be terrified of losing their freedom. And that is totally ridiculous. Men are not terrified of losing their freedom. Which could make them pull away. But you focusing on yourself. No, men usually pull away because of a lot of things that's going on in that house. And a lot of games that women tend to start playing. That's why men pull away. And also, a lot of times, men are not even pulling away. We just don't talk as much and verbalize our emotions and feelings every single second. And a lot of women take that as, oh, he must be pulling away because he's not talking to me 24 hours straight. Will automatically shift them into their masculine energy because they will be in that chasing dynamic. There is no shift into your masculine energy. There's no shift into your femininity. You're either that or you're not. It's as simple as that. It's not a light switch. And anybody that's pretending like they have a light switch is just being straight up phony. You're one way or the other. Nobody can make you do something that is not in you. Don't ever let him think that he fully has you. Even if you guys have kids together, even if you guys are married, just... Let him know that you are not scared to walk away at any time. You know, it's funny as I can tell that she's been reading some books on uh, like pickup from uh, male, uh, probably, you know, male pickup artists or something like that, because now she's starting to say some stuff line for line. It's always interesting to hear videos um, like this, watch videos like this and see women listen to that. It's like the only time they really listen to men is when it's something that's going to validate, again, you know, their behavior and everything that they got going on. It's just funny to me. It's just all games, really. It doesn't work, so. You don't have to verbally say this to him. Your energy speaks a lot louder than words. You do this by focusing on yourself. For all my... Yeah, I mean, ladies, you should be careful listening to advice from other women about relationships and especially when they're telling you what men think and what men want and what men will do because the majority of the time they're wrong the majority of the time they're wrong and a lot of women don't give advice because they care so much they give advice out of jealousy they give advice out of personal experience they give advice because they want attention what better way and to tap in to other women's emotions to get a reaction. That's what a lot of women tend to do. Some of these women are actually married in relationships, right? Probably a lot of problems in that household because those dynamics don't work for the long term. That's probably another reason why the divorce rate is so high. Don't play games and you'll be better off. 
Don't switch up and say, oh, he's on a pedestal. Now I got to be on the pedestal. Now y'all supposed to be sitting on the pedestal together. Y'all supposed to be up there together as a team. But if you start playing these games constantly, all you're going to have is bad results. I want to see some follow-up videos from these women like her in five years. You've seen the videos where these ladies are crying. I regret that I divorced my husband. Come on. 